Tech Warrior Ops is a place for companies to interact with operators that they may never get a chance to see to get feedback of their device. It's an environment to where it's fully immersed into realistic combat scenarios possible. They won't get that anywhere else but here. The one thing that's different between us and uh, uh, most other places that are out there is we're not inside a military fence. We're off-site, so we don't have any restrictions for folks that come out. We have the freedom and latitude to do a lot of things out on our property of 53 acres to match a very large, significant amount of missions that are being conducted around the world within 100 feet and go from an open field to a disaster response. One site does multiple things. The products that I experienced at this year's Tech Warrior Ops, I would pass on to my my customers, the users, and see if it matched their priorities for what they need to obtain with the limited budgets that they have. I find Tech Warrior Ops very beneficial to my business and I think it'll be beneficial to my customers. The products that come out of these small business set-asides are worth the investment in time to do these events and to come and participate in them. The small businesses that attend Tech Warrior, they walk away with knowledge of product improvement, whether it's a good product, whether there's an actual need for this product, for the warfighter, or a different direction that they can go to. They also walk away with the steps what they, that they need to get to the next step, whether it's from, from the military aspect or the Air Force SBIR staff that takes them to that next level. And what the Air Force SBIR program does in conjunction with Tech Warrior is we accelerate the process. What we usually do when we come out here is just look at different vendors and see what they have to offer and see if we can take that information and show it off to our user community, which is usually AFSOC. If an operator comes to us and say, hey, we need this type of widget, and we see a company's already working on that, then we ourselves don't have to spend time and Air Force money to be working on that when there's companies already out there that we can push towards the users. It lets us get things to them so much quicker than if it was just the Air Force working on it. Yeah, I was able to see uh, some really cool things, and um, honestly, there are some things that were good for the military service, but it's also good on the civilian side. I've never attended an event like this before, but it was really cool to see them taking actual scenarios and putting it in the field with the equipment and the new technology, and then showing it applied. What a great setup for people to come in and see that in action and then make the decision, is this something we need, is this something we want? I thought it was great, it was awesome. In the course of two years, the expansion that we've had to double almost everything uh, is wildly successful. This is only going to get bigger, better, stronger, faster, and we're going to accelerate things to the warfighter. We are shaping the course of the next conflict, the next war. We're saving lives, taxpayer dollars, and we're putting American products out into American warfighters' hands.